Hey guys, this is Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus, and today we are going to cover how to texture a barrel. This is going to include a color map, a bump map, and a specularity map. All right, so let's get started. I already have the model, so I'm going to go to File, Set My Project, select the folder, and click Set. File open. This is why I love setting my project. I mean scenes and there is my Maya file. Okay, here's my barrel and as you can see it is very low poly. When I press the number three you can see that it turns a little bit smoother. Great. Let's take a look at our UV maps windows UV texture editor and you can already see that it is UV mapped and I'm ready to export this. So let's go ahead and export the uh, UV snapshot. So polygons UV snapshot. I'm going to browse and you can see that I'm in my images folder. Again, I'm going to go ahead and call this barrel UV snap. 1024 by 1024 works. This is going to be a TIFF and then click OK. All right, let's go to Photoshop. I'm going to go to my images folder and you can see in my images folder that I have my UV snapshot plus a couple of other textures that I'm going to be using to create my textures or to create my barrel. So I'm gonna drag my barrel UV snap and drag it into Photoshop. And there it is. The first thing I always do is go to my channels and delete the alpha. I don't need that. Second thing I do is go to my layers, double click and just call this UV snap. I'm gonna change this into screen, create a new layer, grab my magic wand and just click on the outside of the UV snap. Go to select, modify, contract, 10 pixels, click OK and then fill it with a neutral gray. I usually go to the B and just do 50. You can grab the bucket if you want to and fill it. All right, that is going to be my border. I'm going to lock the border as well as my UV snap and create a new layer and put it at the bottom. Okay, so this is how I usually set up my files, uh, especially anything that I'm going to texture. And now it's ready to start adding elements to it. So what exactly do we want this barrel to look like? Is it made out of wood? Is it old? Is it new? Well, that's where reference comes in. Reference is always really important. So what I'm interested in making is a barrel that actually looks you know, weathered. And so you can see this is a really good example of um, just something that is rusted. Here's an example of another barrel that has been outside and you can see that it's got mold and things on it, which is very interesting to look at. And this is another example. Okay, so with that, let's go ahead and uh, get started with our texturing. So in Photoshop, I have some images already. I am going to bring in plank of wood. Let's go ahead and drag it in, press enter, and then rasterize it. Right click, rasterize, and I'm going to make it smaller. Press enter, control J is going to duplicate it. Hold down shift, shift will make it go straight down. Rotate this and then one more control J and then you can bring it down, shift and just place it anywhere. Select the top layer of wood and do a control E and another control E. So now it's one layer. And the point of this is to try to remove some of the repeating textures. So key for us, we have the spot healing. So you can actually just kind of click here and just start kind of change some of the elements. You can try getting rid of these lines. Sometimes it gets blurry. You have to be very careful. So the healing brush tool is actually very helpful. You just stamp it and then you can paint this section here and it will actually try its best to match it. And that helps with you when you're trying to make something look uh, unique. Other things we can do to make it look much more diverse is to actually maybe grab some concrete and drag it into the file. So I'm going to control A, control C, we're going here and control V. This is, has a lot of really good texture information and uh, we want to be able to use it. So let's go ahead and bring the concrete in, press enter. And I just want to affect the wood. So I'm going to try different uh, modes. So this one's darken. And you can see that by using these modes, I can try to get something that's going to make it look more interesting. It's really up to you what you want to use. I'm going to use soft light for now. Okay, and then of course, I'm gonna add a little bit more concrete to make it more interesting to look at. So let's go ahead and paste that in here. Again, just go ahead and try different types of modes and see what you like. This one's nice and dark. This one's overlay. I kinda like overlay. All right, this is gonna be my color. So I'm gonna grab these guys, all the layers that I just made and drag it into a folder. This is gonna be a group and I'm gonna call this color. So this is going to be wood. I'm going to select all of this, drag this into the folder, another group, and this one's going to be my wood. Okay, now I want to do is the metal. 